typical data virtualization data as a service. We'll show how typical data virtualization can help you to expose your data as a service and provide data services to different users, systems, and applications. We'll connect to a Kafka Cloud streaming data source, transform the data using different virtual layers. After the transformation, we'll show how you can connect to the platform using the Rich TDV API. Invoking the API will let you manage the different attributes with your typical data virtualization workspace, such as data sources, views, schemas, and also allow you to manage deployments, scripts, sessions, and user profiles. Then we will distribute the data as two different data services. The first one is a database data service, and the second one is a web service, both exposing the same data set. Let's take a look on how it can be done within the development environment called TIPCO Data Virtualization Studio. Within the shared workspace, I already created a project called Data as a Service. The result of the project will be a dataset which is ready to be distributed for our consumers as two different data services. The project consists of a Kafka Cloud Streaming data source. I created three folders in order to follow the data virtualization architecture layered approach. On the physical layer, I already created a view of the streaming data source. The view is an SQL based virtual table aggregated the metadata. When I click on execute, you can see that it will retrieve real time data from the Kafka streaming data source. Once I click refresh, you can see that the streaming data is changing. Now on the business layer, let's create a view and transform the data set. New view, raising info data. Now I will drag the view from the physical layer to the canvas and I will click on grid, select the table. And now I can select or deselect the columns that I would like to use in this view and click save. Typical data virtualization also has its own REST API interface. When you go to help, you can say REST API reference. With very user-friendly REST interfaces, let us get the view that we just created on the business layer using the REST API interface. Let's go to data view. We say get, try out, bed of my data view. Fetch data view summary, I say false. So then I will get the full data set and now I click execute. Once I click execute, you can see the actual metadata of the data view, raising data and all the columns as part of the table. And this is the actual SQL statement that defines the view. Let's go back to typical data virtualization workspace. Now on the presentation layer, we will create a view that we would like to share with our consumers. New view, final raising info. And again, I will drag the view from the business layer to the canvas. Go to grid. Select the table. And now I can deselect the columns that I don't want to use for my final view and click on save. So now let's create the two data services that you would like to share with our consumers. We click on publish. First, we start with a database service. So we click on databases, add composite data service, raising info. Okay, and the second one will be the web service. Publish, web service, raising info, click OK. So now let's use Squirrel to connect to the first database data service. Table, 
final racing info. This is the connection to the database data service. Now let's see the connection to the web service. Web service. Open. Go to my REST tab. Copy my URL. Open a new browser. Pass the URL. And now you can see that I connected to the web service and the same data set is available. So what did we do? We used Tipco Data Virtualization to connect to a Kafka Cloud Streaming Data Source. We transformed the data using different virtual layers. Then we showed you the rich Tipco Data Virtualization API reference. And we showed you how you can use it to retrieve data, to manage data, to update data. And after we created the final view on the presentation layer, which we exposed as two different data services. One is a database service and the other one is a web service. The power of typical data virtualization helps you to expose your data as a service and provide data services to different users, systems, and applications. Mm -hmm.